Science, technology, engineering, and math, four subjects abbreviated together as STEM. Q2's Mitch Laggy is joining me now, and you got to spend some time with kids learning about this today. That's right, Zoe. It was really an awesome time. STEM Billings, they're a local group. They've been working for four years to marry those subjects in the minds of Billings youth. I was at their computer science event today to see some of that learning in action. Take a look. STEM Billings is an example of a community rallying together to educate its kids. Now in its fourth year, over 1,600 kids have attended STEM Billings events. It's a partnership between educators and local businesses. And so it's fun to bring in those community experts and have them share what it is that they do in their job so that kids can see all the opportunities that they have and how STEM is related everywhere. It's crazy how you can bring in so many people from the community. The community feels involved in what's going on. They get a chance to build relationships with the kids. And, and it gives us a chance to kind of network together as groups and see how we can get these kids interested and get them ready for the, the, the workforce. Aiden is one of those kids. He doesn't quite know yet what he wants to do when he grows up, but STEM Billings is helping him pursue his interests. Well, uh, my first thing was the spheros, and I got to um, use them to paint a uh, painting. I wanted to do coding because I thought it would be cool because I'm, I have a little troubles with it. I've never used it before and I wanted to learn how to use it. STEM Billings even involves high school students. Older kids can volunteer their time to help the younger ones learn. People usually tend to think of scientists like just numbers or like boring reactions or stuff, but with the ability to program these robots and such, using programming, because that's what today is about, it's like using computer science, programs and such, kids are able to drive these little cool spheros around, They're having such a blast. Pretty great. I'm glad I'm able to come out here and kind of uh, shoot a spark with these little kids. It's kind of cool, you know, you can see the, the creativity, the spark, the want to learn more, to be able to do more in the world, and you really want to help cultivate that so that they can grow up and do great things. And if this looks like something your kid could be interested in, keep an eye on the Billings STEM Facebook page. They have yet to announce their next event, but I'm sure it's going to be a fun one. Oh, I'm sure it will be. That looked like a ton of fun. I know. I wish I could have stuck around for longer. I was going to say, did you try any of the... No? All right. Not quite. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> Check the Facebook page. You'll right. keep... Yeah. Exactly.